Okay, today we're in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, and this is Paul's final chapter in his correspondence with the Corinthians. He's telling them, hey, I'm going to come visit you soon for the third time. And then he says this in verse 3, I will give you all the proof that you want that Christ speaks through me. Remember back a few chapters ago, the false teachers had accused him of being strong and bold in his letters, but being timid and weak when he was face to face with them. And so he's kind of responding to that. He says this, Christ isn't weak with you when he deals with you. He's powerful among you. And although he is crucified in weakness, he now lives by the power of God. And so he says, we too are weak, just as Christ was. He's talking about him and his traveling companions. He says, but when we deal with you, we will be alive with him and we will have God's power. And so he says in verse five, examine yourselves to see if your faith is genuine. Test yourselves. Surely you know that Jesus Christ is among you. If not, you have failed the test of genuine faith. You know, he's talking about, if you read chapter 12, he's talking about the fact that they claimed to be Christians, but their lives didn't match up at all with it. In other words, they were truth one Christians. You know, they've trusted Jesus for salvation. Check out our foundation series for more on that. But they weren't really honoring God with their everyday lives. And so he's really challenging them. Examine yourselves to see if you really have put your faith in Christ. Because if you had, then it would, it would work itself out in your everyday living. So then he says in verse 10, I'm writing this to you before I come, hoping that I won't need to deal severely with you when I do come. For I want to use the authority the Lord has given me to strengthen you, not to tear you down. And so then at the end here, he gives his final greetings. And I just wanted to show you how he usually ends a lot of his letters. He says, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So that's 2 Corinthians chapter 13, and that finishes up Paul's letters to the Corinthian church, 1st and 2nd Corinthians. So you're ready to read chapter 13, and we'll see you tomorrow when we start in on the book of Matthew.